Hello, this is my tutorial on how to create a lightsaber that I'm actually creating specifically for someone with the username of Pink Paris because I sent them a tutorial on how to do this but it had been deleted. So, that was such an unfortunate event. So let's get started. You want to make sure that you have, well, first of all, well, before I get into all that, we need to create a layer. So, we call it layer 1, set the mode to screen, and then click on fill with screen neutral color, which is black. Make sure that check mark is filled, and make sure the mode is screen. Click OK. Now we want to grab the white from our palette, make sure that it's set to white, and make sure you have the line tool selected. I'm not really good at giving tutorials on Photoshop, I've never done that before. Okay, now we're going to draw a huge, li a large line. Now look at this, um, we, this layer got created with this, sh with this line that we just created in it. We want to flatten this down to the layer we just created a few minutes, a few, a uh, little back. So, we, on the windows you push control E, and on the Mac I think it's command E. And, uh, okay, now that we have our line, our beam thing, we're going to go, we're going to duplicate this layer. Uh, three times. So I go to duplicate layer, click OK. Duplicate layer, click OK. Duplicate layer, and click OK. Now I go to filter, um, render, no, not render, we go to blur. Gaussian blur. Then we do, we do a Gaussian blur of 10. Now I go to Gaussian blur again, and do 20. And then we do Gaussian blur again. And we do 30. Okie dokie. Flatten all these together. By the way, I'm using Adobe Photoshop Elements 3.0. In case you didn't know. I'm going to adjust color. I'm going to go to Enhance. Adjust color. Adjust to saturation. Colorize. Set the, I set the saturation to 50. Now, watch what happens as I slide this thing around. The lightsaber changes color. I'm gonna make a green one. I like green. Now we're gonna push Control E again, and voila, you have a lightsaber. But let's say that there is a clash, so I'm gonna go ahead and right in front of you, create another lightsaber. Yes, hopefully nothing too bad will happen because sometimes I have a mistake and forget to create the layer. Like right now, as you can see. Yep, it always happens. For some strange reason. Well, let me create the layer. Mm -hmm. No. If you can't see my cursor very well, then just go into full screen mode if you need to. Because I've got a whole screen being recorded. At least I have a small screen. Okay, now I'll just color it. I'm going to color it red. So, small lightsaber, but. Now we have our two intersecting lightsabers that are going to clash as soon as we go into filter, render, lens flare. Gonna click in the center. Yes. Now you see, look, watch, ha watch what happens when you click OK. Ta da! You have this little sla slash effect, a little, uh, clashing effect thing. If you are if you are using an older um monitor like I am, 
go into a lens flare and maybe just double it because that looks a whole lot better to me but and maybe even triple it if you have to or you could just adjust the bright brightness too but I'm sure that looks pretty dang bright to the rest of y'all now you have your clashing lightsaber effect thing I hope this made sense to you and uh, thank you for watching my tutorial uh, look for my um, how to make a house google sketchup tutorial too which is one of my better tutorials except that the sound is pretty much off and I'm sure the sound is pretty much off he on here too because some reason my computer's acting a little weird but let's hope it's not because this is one of those times when I really don't want it to be well again thank you for watching it and uh catch you later